Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Sky Exchange. This has kind of turned into Sky Exchange slash Eco Week. <laughs> but it's because I've been having so much fun playing both this game and Eco. Um, I'm having an absolute blast. We've pretty much recovered from our disaster <laughs> last episode in which I fell into the void, and we're now up to 38 million EMC, so we should be good for a while. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I AFK'd overnight, and we're pretty good. I have also swapped this out. I don't remember if I did this on camera or not, but I think I did this on camera. Either way, I've got a, uh, a storage drawer up there now. Um, in today's episode, I'd like to get into some sort of a decent inventory system. There's a few different, uh, I mean, op obviously, there's the transmutation tablet, which can hold a lot of different stuff, but there are some things in this pack that don't have an EMC value, like, for example, everything in this chest, all these cables, um, different mechanism parts, and, and things like that, and I want to get into a decent inventory system in this episode so that we can basically have all of our stuff pretty much in one place and have a little bit of auto crafting as well. Now, there's no refined storage or applied energistics in this pack, so um, those are not an option. Sorry about that, guys. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's no uh, refined storage or applied energistics. However, we do have um, RF tools, which has the uh, the remote storage. I I'm not seeing it here. I know it's in here though. Progressive uh, ah, here we go. Storage. Uh, there's the storage scanner. There's remote storage, and then there's auto crafting and all sorts of things with that. Uh, and then there's actually also, which I learned very recently to, uh, about, Extra Utilities 2 actually has something as well. Um, it's got the... What is it called? It's like the item sorter, or, or it might be the scanner? I don't know. There's Oh, here it is, the indexer, that thing. Uh, the indexer actually works as a kind of like an uh, kind of like an applied energistic system it has uh, well not in the same level but you basically you can ha see all of your stuff in one place and it has um a crafting uh process built into it so that is an option as well uh, however it is pretty slow like you need to wait for items to make it uh so we're going to go with the refined storage option because i think that's really the best plan so if we look at storage, what we'll need is a few of these modular storage right here. And those are all pretty easy to make. Uh, we've got machine frames. I'm going to make six, I think, for starters. No, let's do eight for starters. And then we'll basically have a wall, right, with a thing in the middle. So let's do eight of those. Then we're going to need quartz, redstone, and chests. So, quartz, redstone, chests. Okay, there we go. So, let's go ahead and make eight of these modular storage things. And that'll work. And then we also need to make these storage modules, which come in three different tiers. Uh, so, let me get the stuff together for that. We need chests... Oh, I don't need that many chests. We're going to need more quartz. We're going to need some gold nuggets. And we're going to need some redstone. And then we're also going to... Oh, those are redstone blocks, not redstone. Uh, well, I'll need redstone blocks too, so whatever. Let's grab that. And then we're going to need gold ingots. And we're actually going to need some gold blocks as well. So that should be everything we need. And we're gonna, wait, oh, and iron. I totally missed iron and redstone. And let's actually teach our tablet how to make iron blocks as well. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna make one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those guys. And then we're going to upgrade those to tier two. And that means they'll hold 200 items, which is quite a lot. That's a lot of items. We will ultimately upgrade them to tier three, though, so they can hold 300 items each, which is quite a lot. And that'll actually complete a quest for us as well. I think it's under Sugary Tech over here. There we go. So let's claim that. And it gives us four quartz, which we don't really need, but whatever. Uh, and what am I missing for this? Gold ingots, nether quartz. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I'm just not looking in the right spot. Haha! -ha! Oh, and those actually have an EMC value. I didn't even realize that. So we could actually just do... Storage module. And there's four... Uh, five... There's eight... And there we go. So that totally works. So we've got ourselves eight of these guys. Then we're also going to need a storage scanner. So for that, let's grab what we need again. We'll need a machine frame. We'll need a couple of ender pearls. We'll need some redstone torches. And we'll need some gold ingots and let's make the storage scanner and this is basically the thing that's going to allow us to uh do the kind of auto crafting type stuff so that should be good also it's dark let's sleep really quick um if you can hear all the water i don't remember if i, fi I finished that last episode i think i i think i added a bunch of these water mills last episode and then after the episode was over, I added a bunch more. So we've got a ton of these now. We're up to over a thousand grid power or something ridiculous like that. Um, let's see. Yeah, 929 grid power. So never again will I fall off into the void. And eventually, a lot of you said, hey, you should get the gem armor, uh, which has flight built into it. And it does, but it's also really expensive. Um, so that's a thing. Like, we need to keep in mind that Although, yes, I will eventually have the gem armor. Right now, I can't afford the gem, the gem armor. Give it time. We'll get there. We'll be able to afford it eventually. So, let's see. What's over here? Not much. What we could probably do... Um, the storage scanner actually needs um, power of some sort. So, if we break out this... Oh, just kidding. I don't want to break that one. Uh, we'll break this one right here. Is that how we want to do it? That's going to look ugly. That's going to look really ugly. Um, hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to think where I could put this where it's not going to look like garbage. <laughs> um, let's see. I mean, once we have this, this stuff can all go. Maybe we put it over here. And I'll just break these temporarily. Um, axe, please. Thank you. There we go. And for the moment, let's just toss this stuff in there. And let's just break out this chunk. Like so. There we go. And then we're going to put our eight modular storage like this oh hold shift oh no 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 not down there uh i forgot that how you pl like where you're facing when you place them makes a difference um let's do this this should work so we'll go place 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 there we go That'll do. Okay. Oh, that's not the right one. That is. Beautiful. All right, and then storage scanner right there in the middle. So that should work. Now I need to actually power it. So we'll just take a basic universal cable. And I think 
I was originally going to run a whole new power line, but I think we can probably just kind of tag team off of this guy. Like so. And you can see that this now has essentially all of these modular storage items in here. Um, now, they can't actually hold anything right now. See, I can't, I can't put anything in there. And that's because they need these storage modules first. Uh, and then I can put whatever I want in there and just dump stuff in there to my heart's content. And there we go. So now I have all of this inventory space and we want to make all of these routable, which means if I shift click something in here, it's going to end up in the system, which is what I want. So that'll do for kind of a real basic system. Um, it's certainly not perfect, but... It'll get the job done for now. Uh, let's grab... Where did I put... Here we go. I was wondering where I put my sieve and my mesh. Not that I really need them anymore, but whatever. So now all we need to do is basically dump all of this stuff into our system. So let me get that done, and then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, I am back. So that is taken care of. These are... All the stuff is in my system. Now, it's not a perfect system, um, I, I can search for stuff, so if I want to find, like, my builder's wand that's right here, I can search for builder's wand, and it'll locate it. And if I want to expand this, it's actually pretty easy to do. I just need to add more modules, and then increase the radius that this shows up for. That'll also increase the power usage, though. So, we're going to keep it to a scan radius of 1 right now, because that will pick up these blocks right here, and those are the only ones that I really care about right now. So... That is a good thing. Um, now, we have that, which is great, but I also want to make another thingy from RF Tools. There is... Where is it? Aha! Right here. The storage module tablet. And this thing is basically like a mobile storage thing. So if we take a look at that. We're going to need emerald, redstone blocks, quartz blocks, and gold nuggets. So, do I have any emeralds? I do. Okay. Redstone blocks. A quartz block. And nugget. There we go. So, let's make the storage module tablet, like so. And then... We'll also want to make another one of these guys. And if we put those together in a crafting bench like this, that'll give me a 300 stack item. It does take RF, so you do have to charge it up before you can use it. But I can toss it into my energy cube here pretty easily and keep it all nice and charged. And then this thing has huge amounts of inventory. You guys, if you've seen my modded Let's Plays before, at least any recent one, you've probably seen me use this thing before. I absolutely love the storage module. I think it's an awesome little, uh, an awesome little device. It's pretty cool, and it's just super useful to have. So now, since we have so much EMC lying around, we're up to, you know, 37 million EMC, I think it's time to start tackling a few of these quests. So we've got like the craft with power, which is make a crafter tier three. We can do that. Uh, we've got control freaks for RF tools control. Some of those are not really all that awesome. We do also have all these basic cables and I do probably want to do that one right now. So let's just see if I look at basic, I've got basic universal cables. Um, let's do this. Basic. Okay, so we got the universal cable. We can make... Oh, I need a bucket. Bucket. Into system. Basic. And then down here, that'll make me a basic universal cable. Then we've got like our basic pressurized tube, except I don't have glass, because... <laughs> See, this is the weird thing about this system. Like, I can do auto crafting but there are so many things that i don't actually keep in here like copper ingots <laughs> and all this other stuff that it's gonna be a little a little goofy at first until i have at least basic i just put copper in there all right fine 
We'll do that. Copper ingot. There we go. All right, so we got that. And then we also need, I think it's called like the logistical sorter or something. Yeah, logistical sorter. So I'm gonna need one of these as well. So iron and piston. Piston was the other thing I needed. There we go. We'll toss those in there. Oh, also, I just realized I said 300 items. I meant 300 stacks of items. Holds a lot more than 300 items. All right, there we go. So you got our logistical transporter. And does that complete the whole quest? Oh, and I need a configurator, which I actually have in here somewhere. There we go. Now that should complete the quest. Does it have to be an uncharged configurator? Because that would be super dumb. <laughs> that would be super dumb if I need to make an uncharged one. I think I may have to make an uncharged one. <sighs> Grr. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, let's see here. So we're going to need different stuff. Let me get this all together, guys. I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, guys, I am back. I see what happened. I actually need to make this stuff over here, too. So I actually need a basic fluid tank and a basic gas tank. And I think those are actually pretty easy. If I remember, if I remember correctly, it's been a little while. I wish this was synchronized to JEI, by the way. So if I click, I'm going to have to click out of it. If I go down here and go basic, we will need a... I already have the basic energy cube. We're going to need a basic fluid tank, and I don't have any redstone, so we'll toss some of that in. So, basic fluid tank, and then a basic gas tank, which is going to require osmium, so I can toss that in as well. And there we go. Eventually, we'll have enough stuff in this system that I'll be able to just do whatever I need to do without having to worry about any of this kind of stuff. Oh, and the energy cube. Right, right, right. I was like, what? There we go. Now we should be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Art of dire wiring completed. Okay. So. Wait. Why, why you know register this, this stuff? I have it. It's in my inventory. It said it's complete. Um, okay. I don't know why it's not saying that quest is done, but that quest is definitely done, so whatever. It's being a little weird, but I will deal with it. I guess. Um, I also want to upgrade my energy cube to the advanced energy cube. So let's grab some stuff for that. And I, it looks like I need to upgrade some other things too, because we're running out of this alloy. So we're going to need more redstone. We're going to need some gold, like so. And to upgrade this, what did I need? Two energy tablets, and then a little bit of osmium. Okay. I think... There we go. That's upgraded. And then I kind of want to upgrade it again, but I don't think I actually have the stuff to do that yet. So let's put this guy here for the moment. It'll start charging up. It'll start working. We'll let it charge the configurator for a minute. And let's grab some redstone... And some iron out of here. And over here are all my, ec my mechanism machine. Oh, I forgot that I made steel dust. Um, so, energized smelter. Make me steel. Okay. I want to upgrade these to factories. Factories are pretty amazing. They're super, super awesome. Uh, they're basically just like their non-factory counterparts except they have multiple slots, uh, up to seven. The highest level one has seven and still has this fast of a processing time. So you can go through items very, very quickly, like super, super quickly. It's awesome. Uh, however, I am quickly running out of energy, it appears. 
So, let's sleep real quick. I suppose I could use some of the energy in my cube over there. That would probably work. Let's grab some advanced cables. And we'll just go like that. And then we'll go into here. Energy output. And backside input, auto eject on. Okay, that should keep this. Yeah, 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 there you go. Now it's back up to full full energy and it's making the stuff that I needed to make. So this is good. Anyway, so let's take a look at these factories. We have the metallurgic infuser and I think that's probably gonna be the first one that we wanna update or upgrade because infusing is such a big part of mechanism. Like you have to do it with so many different things. Uh, and we can actually just use this guy. Like, we could just use this one. Um, and then we'll need a basic control circuit, redstone, iron, K. Okay. So, let's grab our basic control circuits. Let's grab redstone. Let's grab iron. And there we go. We now have a basic infusing factory. It does keep the upgrades, which is great and amazing. Oh, you could actually put multiple muffling up. I didn't know you could put multiple muffling upgrades on there. Either way, I did make a change to the configs where I turned them down to one-tenth of the normal uh, volume of mechanism machines because they're just so loud. Like, it's a little ridiculous. But let's see, if we want to do this, we're going to need two of those. So we'll go like so. And then we can just upgrade that one right away again. I think we have everything else we need. Oh, no, I'm missing osmium. Osmium, there we go. And bam, we now have the advanced infusing factory. Remember the last one had three slots, this one has five. And the final one has seven, which is just awesome. Like that's just amazing. And you can see if we go in here and with our five slots, we grab one, two, three, four, five iron. And one, two, three, four, five redstone. We put our iron in here. We can put this on auto sort. I usually like, I like to leave it on personally. Uh, let's make sure we don't want auto eject on right now, although. Oh, but I got energy running to him from back there. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how, I suppose I could move the energy to here. It would look really weird with the stained glass though. I think, right? I mean, I suppose we could do, that doesn't look terrible, I guess. But then I want a way to import this directly into this system, and I don't know how I can do that. Um, let's just hold off on it for the time being. We'll we'll figure up uh, we'll figure out super awesome automation options at a later time. Anyway, so we've got our five stacks in here. Look how quick this goes through it. Like this is going to chew through those stacks, and cr this will save us a lot of time when it comes to making all of this mechanism stuff. I do have to put these in one at a time, which is a little unfortunate, but still, uh, just time-wise, it's gonna save us so much time. It'll be amazing. So let's get the other two uh, upgraded all the way, or at least up to the same level, and then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, I am back. So we've got our advanced factories now up and running. They're all good, they're in good shape, uh, which is great. However, they don't have any sort of an output right now, uh, so I have to do it all manually, which I suppose is fine. And power-wise, our power gen is still struggling a bit, so I think we should probably work a little bit on that. I could just, like, spit out windmills forever and ever and ever, but I think there might be a better option. Now, windmills generate more power 
depending on the Y level that they're at. So if we, do I have an angel block in here? Angel block, here we go. So let me show you what I mean, okay? If I take one of these windmills right here, this guy right now is generating 60 RF per tick, roughly. 60.36 RF per tick. If I break him and we fly way, 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 way up into the sky, up towards the build limit. Wow, I built my base very low. Hmm. But anyway, if I fly way up here to, let's just stop at 250, because here's our build limit, right? And we put this guy down uh, I'm a little too high. Let's put him here. Nope, still too high. Let's go down to like 240. There we go. Now, now we're generating 186 RF per tick. So basically three times what I'm generating down below. So that is a significant difference. Uh, and I didn't know the exact difference that it was going to be. That's why we flew all the way up here to science it. Um, but the downside is that I could then either run a cable all the way down here. That's a lot of cable. And it's going to look super ugly just having this random mechanism cable, cable like floating. Or we need to find some way to do wireless RF transmission. And I'm thinking for that, there is the Quantum Entanglo Porter, this guy, which is not the easiest thing in the world to make, but it, it is doable. Uh, we just need some obsidian and some diamond and then some patience. So refined obsidian ingots, you get those by crushing obsidian. Uh, speaking of which, can I do that in the crusher? If I take obsidian like this, and I put you in here, will that crush it? Nope. What if I... How do I get it? Because normally what I do is I throw it in like a sag mill, but we don't have Ender I.O. So let's see. Obsidian dust. Enrichment chamber. Okay, so we're gonna have to make an enrichment chamber, which is fine. That was something that I really kind of needed to make anyway. Uh, so, frame, oh, what, what's the name of this? Casing. Yeah, 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 it is casing, okay. It, I thought that was, doesn't that have an EMC value? Oh, I guess it doesn't. Oh, because it's got steel in it, right. Right, 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 okay. So, casing. And... It wants the mechanism steel specifically. Come on. There we go. Now, hmm, I'm not, I don't know that I'm actually liking this inventory system too much because it's so picky. Like it doesn't recognize or dictionary stuff. I don't know that it's actually saving us any time. Hmm, either way, it's okay. So, back to our enrichment chamber. I need basic control circuits. Let's just grab those. And then redstone and iron. Okay. There we go. And then I'm gonna just upgrade it to this advanced factory, like right off the bat. We might as well. I don't see any reason not to. Let's just grab some of these guys. So we can do that. And then a little bit of osmium. There we go. So that gets us the advanced enriching factory. And this can be used to make what we need. And we'll change that to auto sort. It doesn't have any upgrades in it currently. So we should probably make those. Let me get that done. Let me get some of this obsidian made. And let me see if I can get uh, our quantum entangle porter made as well, and then I'll come right back to you. 
All right, guys, I am back. I'm still working on this, and I actually totally forgot that we also need a uh, casing uh, and specifically an osmium compressor as well. So let's make one of those. We actually need a whole other machine that I had totally forgotten about. And I don't remember, I think there's a factory version of this? Osmium compressor, yeah, 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 looks like there is, okay. So this actually won't be quite as bad as I thought. Um, iron, please, thank you. And we'll upgrade that as well, right off the bat, there we go. And there we go, and we'll just toss him, go away torch, we'll just put that up here. So this is our advanced compressing factory, and this is basically gonna be used to take this refined obsidian dust and turn it into the stuff that we need. So if I throw that... Ah, auto sort, there we go. If I throw that in here, that will slowly... Slowly, slowly, slowly... do that, and give us these refined obsidian ingots. Um, now that I think about it, though, I don't know that that was actually a necessary step. Oh yeah, it is. I need some of them for these. And then we'll need some reinforced alloy, which is going to require diamond dust as well. I am going to go through a pretty fair amount of diamonds doing all of this. Um, let's just grab five stacks. I thought it wasn't too bad. That was about two million EMC. That's a lot. But it's not more than we can afford. So, I guess that'll actually be okay. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Um, so then we need to use those to make these and all this. I mean, let's be honest. Mechanism is kind of a rabbit hole. But, I think we'll be okay. I just want to get a couple of these quantum entangle porters made. Um, let me get those done and then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, I am back. So we made two of the quantum entangle porters. We're in good shape there. Uh, I have some leftover resources. I definitely ran out of power, though, uh, before I had a chance to make use of all the stuff that I wanted to. But that's okay. Uh, we can come back to that at a later time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our angel blocks here. And I'm going to take these guys... And we're just going to move them all the way up there. So, let's just fly for the moment. And there we go. That should be high enough. So let's put this guy at 249. Can I put you on top? Oop. Can I put you on top? Yes. Good. Grab him. And we're just going to do our three win- I forgot power cables. Oh, I'm an idiot. Gah. That was so dumb of me. Dang it. <laughs> oh, why did I do that? Okay, anyway, it'll be fine. So let's go and grab all of these as well. We might as well. We might as well bring these up too while we're at it. And then we'll hook up. I may actually want to make one more quantum entangle porter, or maybe I'll just connect these lines. That wouldn't be a disaster. Uh, let's see, so we need cables, right? Yeah, we need a couple of those. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking I'm just gonna con connect the, the lines that we do have. That's probably easier. So let me get this all taken care of and I'll come back to you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back. So we've got the configurator, or I've got the whole thing done. There's uh, a total of 14 wind turbines up there now. And this thing should be filling up. Um, it doesn't say exactly how quickly it's filling up, but it definitely seems to be filling up faster than it was. You know what? Let's make an RF network monitor. Ooh, if I have ink sacks. I don't think I actually have ink sacks. Oh, I do. Never mind. Just kidding. 
I totally do have insects. And I think it was iron as the other piece, right? Yeah, there we go. So if we do this, we should be able to see... I'm getting about 600 RF per tick. That's actually not great. Although it's reading as a basic energy cube for some reason. Um, input. Is it because... Are any of these still filling up? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Well, actually, some of the power is splitting off to go over here. So if I... Go to this wrench. Oh! I... I did a thing I didn't want to do. Back you. There we go. Now now what if we look at this thing? Still about 600. Hmm. That should be generating a lot more power than that. Like, a lot more power than that. What if I... Can this see? No? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what the deal is there. It's also possible that the network monitor just isn't, like, working the way I'm expecting it to. Maybe that's what it's outputting? Is 600-something RF per tick? But that wouldn't make sense because these don't require power when they're not in use. I don't know. Either way, though, guys, I am most certainly out of time for this episode. So, my friends... If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.